um, Alban Suarez from Teachers College. Um, I think just aside of for the, for the expenditure of education, most of it goes to teachers, or at least so, uh, which is different to other countries in the OECD. So maybe we're spending a lot in education, but also a lot is going in teachers and not necessarily to the salaries of teachers. And that's where all the corruption comes because it's like for the union. Yeah, it just I may add, it is quite similar in all of the countries at least participating in PISA. We're, you know, 92, 96, I mean, a bit more. We, pay, we spend a bit more than the average OECD in salaries. But it's not all that different. In most, m most educational systems are very human capital intensive. Intensive, so, you know, the, as governments generally, you know, it's, it's so the bulk of the resources go to teacher salaries, not only in this. Uh, yes, one of the um, that the introduction of a standardized uh, testing for the hiring and for the promotion of teachers was necessary to improve education quality. And now we are talking about the investment uh, per student. What about the professionalization? Of the, the teachers, how much are we spending on this professionalization? And where, where we are? Not more than, I don't know, 0.5% of the whole amount of money we spend in, in, in education because the bulk of it is salaries. That does not include, the, are you talking about capacitation, yeah. about training? Yeah. 